So this is the Passe PS63 Mark II which we are releasing this year. It's got a graphic LCD display, a menu. It's got status of the power supplies internally and it's got large 7 segment displays for voltage, current, frequency and the earth to neutral voltage. Another difference in the Mark II version is this blinking light at the dot, dot at the end and that shows the actual communication status of the internal electronics. So as usual, this features an under voltage setting and over voltage setting which allow you to set a threshold of under voltage and over voltage. There are very high accuracy analog to digital converters in this giving you very accurate control of over voltage, over frequency, under voltage, under frequency and neutral errors. The earth to neutral voltage is only a display. The unit will not trip. As you can see now there is a voltage of 56 volts. The unit will not trip. As long as the green LEDs, both green LEDs are on, the output is active. So this is rated at 63 amps which corresponds to about 15 kilowatts and uh, this is a single phase unit. The rear panel will have different distribution options and there is a miniature circuit breaker and a bypass switch. So to explain the menu, to be able to get into the menu, I do a long press of the enter button. There is a password setting here. I am able to set the over voltage threshold from 255 onwards to 265. One has to be very careful in setting these thresholds so as to not cause accidental tripping. The range of minimum is 245 and the higher is 265 so I am going to leave this at 255. I have a choice of whether to enable under voltage tripping or not. If the under voltage tripping is off, if the voltage goes the bottom end is basically 90 volts. This unit comes on at 85 to 90 volts AC and will continue to supply output to the output devices. In case of an under voltage, it's transparent. If under voltage tripping is on, then you can set a threshold. The lower end is 170 and the higher end is around 210. So this allows you to set a threshold below which the unit will turn off. Under voltage uh, is quite forgiving. It will wait for at least 10 seconds of under voltage before tripping. The high voltage is extremely fast acting and triggers within a few cycles of mains. Similarly, there is frequency tripping which can be toggled on and off. If frequency tripping is on, you have the option to set over frequency and you have an option of under frequency. This is a new feature called auto restart. If there is a problem and the system turns off, it can do a delay of around 30 seconds and restart. So this is a new feature of the Passe PS63 Mark II. So now the settings have been saved, whatever I made in the setup menu and the unit will restart in 15 seconds. So currently we have connected this unit to a stable 230 volt power supply. This is a high precision device, so if I set it to for example 257, where my threshold is 255, the minute I enable it, all the units trip and the unit that trips shows high HI and it also shows the voltage which caused that which is 256. So we set a voltage of 257 AC, the minute it got 256 this trip and its threshold was set to 255. Now if I disable the power supply the unit will reset or I can do a long manual long press of either the minus or plus button and the unit will restart. Now as long as the fault remains, the unit will not come on. The reason it's not restarted is your mains voltage is still 257 and therefore this will continue to protect and even if the auto restart was enabled, as long as the fault exists, the unit will not come on. So this is the kind of robust protection that is built into the passive. So I'm going to reset this once again and we will do a under voltage demonstration. going to be the under voltage demo. So I'm going to slowly start decreasing. My threshold is set to 170. Now I'm decreasing the mains voltage and I've reached 170. So this meters are accurate to plus minus 1 volt. There's no instant tripping. As long as the under voltage lasts for at least 12 to 15 seconds, then it will trip. 
So here you can see LO being shown and it alternates with showing the voltage which caused the problem which is 169. So when I decrease this to 170, there will be dips which exceed even momentary. That's why that shows 169. And the meter accuracy is basically plus minus 1. So this is a demo of the under voltage. Now I will put the voltage back to 230 and restart the units. And we will do a frequency check. So we will do a over frequency check. So right now our frequency is set to 50 hertz. Our frequency threshold was 52. The frequency variation is also uh, very slow. So I need the frequency now 52. You can see the frequency over here showing 52. Our threshold was also set to 52. So we have to exceed that slightly. Okay, it's already tripped. All of them are tripped. So it shows high for frequency. So similarly in this manner you can have under frequency and over frequency. The show is being set and the units are all tripped very accurately based on that. But like I mentioned, under voltage and over and under frequency are 10 to 12 seconds after the fault. So if there's a momentary dip due to a faulty generator, there's nothing to panic. As long as it doesn't last more than 10 to 12 seconds, the unit will not work. This is the basic demo of the Passive PS63 Mark II. Okay, Start. this is the rear panel of the Passive PS63 Mark II. There are three units over here. The basic distribution consists of three 15 amp Indian sockets. These allow a total output load of 15 into 3, that's 48 amps. The input wiring is 10 square mm for phase and neutral. This allows a total inlet drawing of 63 amps. There's a double pole bypass switch here. Bypass is to be used only in the event of the issue of a internal issue in the product. It is not meant to be put on in normal use. And there are two MCBs, 32 amps each. One is for A, which is the first socket from the left, and one is B, which is for the next two. So irrespective of what different socket options are provided, for example, this a plates and this is a CE16. Similarly, there is a plate and a socket adapter, which can mount a Shuko socket in place of this. This is rated 16 amps as well. There is an option to directly fit a 32 amp CE connector in which case the entire plate is not used and the socket fits directly on these four mounting holes. The input wiring consists of phase, neutral and earth wires. When I have three such units, all the neutrals can be combined to a single incoming neutral. All the earth wires can be terminated to a single earthing point. The first phase wire can go to R phase, second can go to Y, third can go to B and I have a full three phase input and this is the output which is fully protected and distributed across the three phases. If there is ever an over voltage or a neutral fault, the unit will shut off instantly. The other two units will continue working until an over voltage or under voltage fault occurs. So this is the explanation on how the pass safe can be used, how the single phase PS63 can be used in a three phase setup. AC waveform and when the frequency increases or decreases you can actually see how the timing of the wave now it's becoming wider which means the frequency is dropping and here it's becoming closer which means the frequency is increasing so this is how the actual ac waveform frequency changes now that we're testing this unit i'm going to demonstrate a neutral failure so i'm going to subject a sudden 415 volts to the unit on at 215 volts i'm going to go to the voltage we create 415, it shows neutral error in E almost instantly, where the voltage has doubled and it shows 415 alternating with the neutral error because that is the voltage which has caused the error. So whenever there is a neutral failure you will get this kind of an indication of NE and the unit will go off instantly.